soon roll by Though fate may lead us astray My darling, mark what I say that you have seen the, the, the world, the earth? Well, I think far more than people realize we use our um, ability to hear. As a matter of fact, I think there was um, uh, a psychiatrist recently that said, or a psychologist recently that said that when we meet a person, when you meet a person, even though you're looking at them, you're recording in your mind the character of their voice that actually will give you the impression that will be left with you as to that person. And I think it's very true. It um, was only in making that message not be lost um, and really bringing through song the spirit of what a Dr. King national holiday would be all about. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. National Holiday is a day of celebrating those who have lived and died for the oneness of all people. And um, when we say the oneness of all people, we mean the oneness of all people. We're speaking of the, the community of all, and that is this, this world of ours. I'm going crazy. When they first landed on American soil, the Beatles were asked to name the major influences on their music. At the top of John Lennon's and Paul McCartney's select group of American performers was rhythm and blues legend Chuck Jackson, a testament to the fact that his operatic baritone has wooed world audiences for several decades. Uh, this business is like any other business. You have to be redefined every so often and replaced, if you will. And in this business, you definitely, if you can't hang in there, you're going to get lost. Uh, uh, I think that uh, people from my generation had, uh, had a worse time of it, if you will, because we were pioneers. See, I'm not afraid because I was a pioneer then, today, to stop. I'm not going to stop. Let me, let me say that again. I'm not going to stop because I've been wounded. Mm -hmm. And I was wounded through a system that, that a that's a guy named Lil Brown. We had, uh, you know, by me setting this pace, because I was more of a sentimentalist. And I, they called, I wasn't really into blues, really. But we were blues ballad singers. So when we were, uh, had auditions in Hollywood, they auditioned you to see what you had. I can remember the first time I played uh, we've been auditioned in Beverly Hills at the Talk of the Town. Well, there were 20 trios out there for that job with Johnny Moore's Three Blazers. Well, we were about the eighth trio to get up there. So we said, oh, I know we can't, we can't do that. So Pat Robkins, who's with the William Morris Agency, uh, he said, Charles Brown, when you go up there, I'm young and slender and, and everything, and you know, ready for <laughs> anything. I went up there and he said, smile. So we went there, I said, Something like that, you know. I don't play that no more now, but Walsall Concerto, during that time, it was very popular during the war. See, Hazel Scott brought in the boogie. 